Hey everybody, CT Hippo here. Due to some odd and not entirely expected circumstances, I'm finding myself down in Portland, Oregon for a few days. And the original plan was that this was going to be a whole series of shipwreck videos. Brought the uh, aluminum boat down and uh, was going to go poke wrecks. And then I got to the boat launch yesterday and the motor wouldn't start. So no shipwreck videos for you this time. However, making the best of it, I am out at Forest Park in Portland-ish sort of the greater Portland urban sprawl, and uh, supposed to go look at the remains of the what's called the Witch's Castle, which is really just a bunch of marketing. Uh, as the story goes, it's actually was a ranger station and restrooms for the park here. We're in Forest Park, and uh, built in the 30s, probably a CCC project, and uh, then abandoned in the 60s, fell down, you know, these things. Um, been used by the local teenagers for some number of years and graffitied and allegedly there's some sort of an occult connection that's pretty dubious to say the least. But anyway, it is, however, built on the site of a murder. Uh, one of the early settlers hired a helper and the helper and the settler's daughter fell in love, got married, and when they brought this to the attention of the settler, he murdered the helper. And the settler himself was uh, the first legally hanged person in Oregon Territory. That sort of thing that turns you crank. But the place where that happened was where they built the, uh, the ranger station. So, since nothing else has worked right this trip, we're going to go out and take a look at that and we'll see what we find. One of the things that's kind of interesting is when I looked this uh, trail up on Atlas Obscura, the, uh, somebody that hiked it described it as arduous. Um, if this is their idea of arduous, I'd hate to see what their idea of an easy one is. Especially concerned compared to some of the stuff that we do. interesting that they've actually taken the time to paint this, so that may just be because of the graffiti. I've heard that there's always a pentagram in here somewhere, which, you know, fine, whatever. Though, it would appear that perhaps we've cut it on a pentagram free day, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's see the mark 
attaching the foam boards, they cast this floor slash ceiling. 